You've been talking to De Niro again. <laughs> I, d- I don't even listen. I d- when, when De Niro starts talking about Trump, I love him too much. I change Joe, the channel. Is he like... Um, you saw you ever see be, you ever see being there with uh, Peter Sellers? I think he and Trump hate each other personally. I think that's really? what that is. Yeah, I think probably. What are the odds? He, he seems mentally into- handicapped. I'm not kidding. He seems meant like you know, I don't know. I have a feel. He doesn't yeah. know about. He was on Bill Maher. Bill Maher has him on to ask him. I don't. It's crazy that Bill Maher would ask him anything. You know, there's a National Guard in the in the in subways and shit. Yeah. So Bill asks him, "What do you think about it?" He goes, "I, I don't. I don't know." I don't know about that. If there's anything Listen, I can do to help, all I you guess. should be asking Robert De Niro about is two things: yeah. awesome movies and divorce. Yeah, like, like yes. tell me what happened. To I would you love to ask with about a that. Divorce. Tell me what happened if you want to talk about it, and tell me what happened to you with these awesome fucking movies. I don't need. I don't need to know jack shit about his politics. Well, he do, he doesn't. That's the thing. He just tells you he feels a way. That's all he's got to say. Yeah, but it's almost like it's almost unfair. To have a guy like that on yes. a public show and talk to him about politics. Do you know what it reminds me of? When the beauty pageant contestant yes. can't pick yes. a thing on a map yes. and they're making yes. fun of her. Yes. Right? They mock yes. her. And I'm like, is that fair to do to her? That's not her area. Well, what? they made her have a speech and she got stuck in a loop and she couldn't get out. Remember? Yes. She oh, didn't. Yep. Remember? She didn't know what to say. She's like, and then I think <laughs> she's panicked. We need, women need she's, to do more better. She yeah, was right. She's locked they up. Ha- <laughs> she locked up. But everybody was making it seem that she locked up because she's a complete and fucking total idiot. But that's not. She's in a pretty contest. Not only, but that's not just that, dude. It, you, anybody could get locked up like that. You're on stage yeah, in right. front of people with TV cameras pointed at you. You've never experienced that in your life, and you have a panic attack. It doesn't mean you're an idiot. And that's also Robert De Niro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, in it's the, the wrong same element. thing. Yeah, it's right. like, why is he talking about this? Why is he talking about this publicly? If you're going to come out and say that you have a really deep seated hatred for one of the two people running for president, and you can't just be, he's a bully, he's a piece of shit, I hate him. You, you, I think you probably, if you're going to express yourself about it and alienate 50% of the country, which it seems like it is, you're going to have to do better than that. You should have some specific things. Like he right. did some real estate deals with people in New York. Let me tell you what he did to fuck people over. I would love to he hear it. He did this and yes. that. Let me tell you what he did that was fraud. He did this and that. Like if you're If you're supporting what New York is doing to him right now, like guess what? You're going to shut down construction. You're going to shut down all these real estate developers who all overvalue yeah. their homes. Kevin Leary was talking. Kevin Leary from Shark Tank was talking I, about that. Dude, Kevin Leary was. Uh, we played the clip of this. CNN's like, yeah, yeah, but the girl wasn't dumb either. She knows he's right. Right. They're, they're playing a part on there. It's not that she's stupid. She goes, but isn't it? He goes, no, we won't do business here. They this is crazy. They cannot say anything positive about Trump, and they don't understand. But by doing that, it delegitimizes everything else they say because everyone knows they're coming at the fucking news with a slanted perspective and yeah. th- there's no objective news there's it doesn't exist yeah. you have right wing fox and you have left wing everything else and you will be fucking confused as shit if you watch both of them back to back i would just not watch any news for a, l- a long while because of that it's just i have a job where now i have to learn things dude it's been wild watching you like as all Get the years PTSD. that i've known you <laughs> All the years that I've known you to watch you like completely flip into full on conspiracy mode. When we yeah. first when we first met was probably like what fifteen years ago or something like that, maybe yes. more. And I maybe would be 20. frankly smug. Of, I remember making fun of uh, what's her name, uh, uh, Jim Carrey's ex wife, because she thought you know her kid shot got autism. Jenny McCarthy, yeah. And I had a joke. I'm like, ah, it's just because he's half Canadian. It comes out like, but no, I was being glib.